Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to fix out the issue. We can't sign into your account. You have been signed in with a temporary profile. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. The very first and simple method that you should do is to uninstall any third party antivirus that you have installed in your system such as Avast, Norton or AVG. Once uninstalled that third party antivirus, go ahead and restart your system. Now if this doesn't fix out your issue, let's proceed with the advanced steps. Click on the start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Now type here a simple command which is WHOAMI space slash user and hit the enter key. Now you get a SS SID starts with S and end with 1001. Now let this window open. Now simultaneously press Windows and R key to open run command and type here reg edit and then hit the enter key. Now in address bar, I will show you a path that you need to paste then hit the enter key. Now you are welcome with a list of profiles over here. Now you need to find the SID starts with S and ends with 1001 in this registry editor. So once I find, I find out two keys over here. The first one is 1001 and second one is 1001.ba key. Means two profile or two keys are present over here in this registry editor. At your end, you may find only a single key with ending 1001 or a single key with ending .ba key or like in my system I have two keys present you might have both the keys. So I will provide you a step by step resolution for all three ways. Now let's proceed with the first one. If you find the key ending with only 1001 what you need to do is in this case open this PC. C drive, your users folder and your username. Open your username and now in address bar click on it and you will get the path right over here. You need to copy this path. Now in registry editor you need to open the file name profile image path. Double click to open it and in value data paste the path that we have just copied and hit the ok key. And now double click state file and value data make sure the value must be 0. Hit the OK button. That's it you have to do then restart your system and this will fix out the issue. Now in second case if you have a file with 1001 extension dot bak in this point of time again you need to open profile image path and value data paste the path as it is that we have just copied from my system this computer and in state double click to open and value data must be 0. Again restart your system to fix out the issue. Now let's proceed with the third case like at my end I have. If you have both the files 1001 and 1001.bak here you need to find the maximum files present in which folder. In .bak folder I have 4 or 5 files while in 100 folder I have more than 10 files. So whichever folder have less file you need to click on that folder right click and choose the option delete. Once deleted in second folder which was left open profile image path and paste the file I mean paste the path that we have copied from the, my system of this computer and hit the ok button. Again in state give it a value 0. Now hit the OK button. Now go ahead close the registry editor, restart your system and this will fix out the issue. Now if this simple or advanced trick doesn't work out the only option we have left is to create a new user profile by opening the run command by pressing the windows and R key simultaneously and type here lusrmgr.msc and hit the enter key. 
here click on the users folder and right click on it choose the option new user give the user any name you can left the password option blank to directly login and hit the create option now close it now whenever you expand by double clicking the users folder you will get a new user with the name lotus geek now go ahead click on start menu click on your user account and choose the option switch user so that you will go ahead and login into the newly created user which is with the name of lotus once you logged in in that user again head over to this pc c drive users your old user folder which is vj head over to desktop folder and all the files in your c drive will be present right over here simply copy these files from this particular folder and paste into the newly created user which is c drive users lotus desktop and paste the files right over here after that you will get all your files back right in this folder if other files are present in your old user account you can easily copy the files and folders right from this particular area and paste in the newly created user id which is lotus 1 this is all about it friends this is how you can fix out the issue of we can't sign in into your account if this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that you keep on watching and receiving notifications from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching